In a previous tutorial, we talked about how to zoom the session. Following up on that, we're going to talk about how you adjust the track height in this tutorial. And if you use all this stuff together, you'll find that it's a really fast way to navigate Pro Tools. Now, most people know that if you click on this amplitude scale right here, you get a little pop up with the track heights. So if I choose small, then that track becomes small. If I choose large, then that track becomes large. If I put my cursor right at the bottom of the track where you get this double ended arrow, when you click and drag, it kind of snaps to these predefined values as you drag to adjust the track height. Now, if you don't like that, you just hold down the Apple key and then while you drag, it'll, it'll adjust smoothly. The other place you can get that pop-up is this little pop-up menu right here. It's the same exact choices. Now, if you hold down Option while you select these heights, you'll find that all of the tracks will go to that height. And it doesn't matter on which pop-up I do it. If I do it there, you just saw it work. And if I hold down the Option key and do it here, you'll see it work. Now, if I have multiple tracks selected, so I'm going to select these three right here, holding down Option Shift while I select a track height only affects those selected tracks. So basically, Option is your Due to All, and Option Shift is your Due to Selected. Okay, so most people know those moves, but the ones that I really like have to do with the control key and the arrow keys. So um, let's take a look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and I don't need any tracks selected, so I'm just gonna kind of select a track there. I'm gonna put my cursor in this track right here. Now, when you hold down the control key and use the up arrow and the down arrow, that adjusts the track height of anywhere the edit cursor is. So that means if I've got my edit cursor here, and here as well, holding down the control key and using the up arrow and using the down arrow will make all of those uh, tracks follow. And you notice that when they do, they're following in a relative fashion. So any offset that you have is preserved. Now, just like when choosing the track height with the pop-up menu, if you add option to that, so control option, up arrow, down arrow, you see they all follow along. So again, option is that dude to all command. The other one that I really like is, I'll go ahead and put my edit cursor here, and I'll do control, apple, and it doesn't matter. You can do the up arrow or the down arrow. And what that does is whatever track has the edit cursor is fit to window for the track height. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, hold down my option key and go maybe to the medium height. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and put my edit cursor on these three tracks. And now I'm gonna do control, apple, up or down arrow, and you see they fit as well. Now, just like with all the other moves, adding option to that is gonna to do to all. So if I do control, option, apple, and I can do up arrow or down arrow, that fits all of the tracks to that window. All right, so now you've used a bunch of key commands for zooming. You've got a bunch of key commands for adjusting track height. And again, putting those all together makes it really quick. Um, definitely my favorite one is the control option Apple and then the up arrow, the down arrow. And honestly, I like to use that in tandem with option A. So my favorite home view is hitting option A so I can see all the regions in the session and then control option Apple, up or down arrow so that I can see all the tracks in that view.